In this video, I'll show you the function of sourcing data by using shortcuts and how to use it. AI technology generates a response to a query or statement based on your given data. First, you need to go to the AI settings and then scroll down to data source. Second, you need to enable this button to activate it and then click edit. Once you click edit, a small window will pop up saying select shortcuts and add shortcuts. Click on add shortcuts colored in green to create a new shortcut. In this area is where you will put the shortcut name. And in this area is where you will put your response to the customer. Just put in your data and then click save. Now let's test it. As you can see, AI responded according to the data that we created. Now let's try adding a ticket form. Let's put the shortcut name and the message. Don't forget to click this button and then select the ticket form. You can also put a question in this area if you want to let AI know that you want to send this response once this question is received. Then click Save. Now let's try adding a suggested message. Just put the shortcut name and the message with the ticket form. Now let's try adding a file. Just put the shortcut name and the message and then click this button to upload and select your file and then click Save. Now let's teach AI to transfer a chat. Create a new shortcut. Then just put the shortcut name and the message and click this button. You can also click this button to choose a specific agent or representative. Then click Save. But to activate this, you need to enable this button and select this shortcut. And that's it. AI will transfer the customer once they want to speak to a human representative. For further instructions on how to use this function, please visit our community center or schedule a call with an AI assist specialist by clicking the link in the description.